Hello, welcome to Channel Mosaic. I'm Sun Wan Lu. Kofi Annan passed away, leaving the world with deep sadness and respect in his memory. As the first black African to lead the United Nations, Annan was known as the world's busiest messenger of peace, which is indeed the best summary of his career at the UN. Annan took over as Secretary General of the UN in 1997, just six years after the collapse of the Soviet Union. The post-Cold War world was undergoing a period of radical transformation and turbulence, and the UN was confronted with various challenges. Under such circumstances, Annan dedicated himself to renewing the UN. He launched a package of reforms and managed to strengthen the UN's functions to restore its role in international affairs. Annan was enterprising, and his reform measures included reducing personnel, streamlining administration procedures, establishing stricter asset declaration rules, and setting up high-level panels to lead studies on major global threats and develop possible solutions. Thanks to his efforts, the UN made major steps in institutional and structural reform. One of the notable changes resulted from these reforms since he came to office in 1997 was the UN's enhanced role in international affairs, especially in peacekeeping missions. Annan also made direct contributions to promoting world peace by participating in the meditation of major political and military crises, such as the wars in Africa, the Iraq War, and the Afghanistan War. Before becoming the Secretary General of the UN, Annan had served with the UN High Commissioner for Refugees, the World Health Organization, and other international organizations. These experiences led him to pay more attention to the protection of human rights and individual interests. He advocated bringing the organization closer to the people by forging ties with the civil society, the private sector, and other partners, as well as establishing the Human Rights Council. He put economic development into the UN agenda to fight against the poverty. In the midst of his term in office, there was a global AIDS epidemic. And under his initiative, the Global Fund to Fight AIDS, Tuberculosis, and Malaria was founded, making outstanding contributions to fighting against these and other infectious diseases. In 2015, Annan gave an interview to China.org.cn when he was in Beijing, attending the launch ceremony of the Chinese editions of his two books, We the Peoples, A UN for the 21st Century, and Interventions, A Life in War and Peace. In the interview, Annan spoke highly of China's development and made suggestions on how to explain China to the world. From that trip, we can see that retired Annan had never really retired. Instead, he continued to be busy devoting himself to the improvement of global governance and the sustainable development of humanity. While Annan has passed away, his efforts and contributions to the reform and development of the UN and world peace will be remembered and cherished by the people. In a complex and fast-changing international situation beset by rising terrorism and anti-globalization trends of thought, what the world needs is the system and rules under the UN framework characterized by the warm concern of the Annan style. May you rest in peace, Mr. Annan. The world will not forget you. Thank you for watching.